Hey guys, and welcome to Detention. Um, I don't know too much about this game, I just know it's set in the 1960s in Taiwan. And it's got a lot of like Taiwanese and Chinese culture and mythology, so... I seen that in the description and I thought it was really interesting and I really wanted to play this game for ages. So, let's just get right into it. Also, there was like a warning or disclaimer at the beginning saying that this has a lot of like cruelty and violence, so if you guys don't like that... Oh, shit. I should be reading this. Or maybe not. Because it seems to be going automatically. The president then started the northern expedition securing... Okay, he's just falling asleep. Look, it's instructor Bai. Miss Yin, may I have a word with you? Okay, class, let's take a short break. I really hope I can keep up with the dialogue. Miss Yin. Have you seen this list before? What list? <laughs> I've fallen asleep, great. Now everybody's gone home. Um. Did I fall asleep? This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? Hmm. A typhoon alert? There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. What's going on here? Okay, so this saves automatically. How do I move? Oh, it's a point and click. Nice. Okay, what's this? This is my seat. The chairs are pretty uncomfortable, but I'm used to it now. The sound of howling wind. Typhoon must be getting close. Oh, there's a note on the table. Where did Miss Yin go? Where did Miss Yin go? Whoever was passing this note in class was worried about Miss Yin. Miss Yin keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird. No kidding. Man, I hate those other subs they sent in. Okay. I'll put it in my notebook. It's getting dark out. I should head home. Is there any way to move faster? I guess not. What does this say? Typhoon alert. I thought the weather was quite nice during history class. Wait, before I actually go out, I just want to, like, see what else is in the classroom. See if there's anything else I can pick up. It's the bulletin board. The holidays are the only thing I pay attention to. Marked on the calendar are the daily and weekly quizzes, midterm exams, final exams. Reading this has given me a headache. Okay, let's get out. Also, I really like the style of this game because it really reminds me of like games like Lorelei and the Cat Lady. So I that was another thing that attracted me to this game. Oh, I don't want to go downstairs yet. What's in here? Girls' restroom. I shouldn't be going in there. Okay, then let's go in the boys' restroom. I don't have to use the restroom. Well, okay, shit. Let's just walk in the rain then. With your little hobble step thing that you're doing. Let's go in here. The front gate isn't this way. Oh my god, this child. The door is locked. There's just no pleasing you. A piece of paper lies in the windowsill. Sketch of the old banyan tree. An old sketch of what looks like the banyan tree in the school. There seems to be a figure underneath. Interesting. Oh. School Anthem. Our school anthem, it actually has a decent melody. The lyrics, however, feel like another one of those propagandas promoting patriotism. School motto and rules. The first thing in orientation was to memorize the school motto and rules. All that, be honest, be brave, be loyal, be frugal stuffs, and making sure you know it was Principal Mr. Shen who established these foundations for us. I read that in a really weird way and I do apologize. <laughs> a 
let's see. It's awful quiet in the classroom. Have they all gone home? Can I get in? Door's locked. The front gate isn't this way. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go downstairs then. Jeez, I just want to explore and this kid is just... He wants to go home so badly. Oh, somebody didn't water the flowers. I don't know what's been planted, but they've all died out. Except for this. A pot for growing daffodils. Only one of them is still hanging in there. There's something in the dirt. Sure. An old photograph. I love like the realistic photographs kind of tied into this game. It just makes it super interesting. An old photograph. Can't tell who's in the picture. There is a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no rewards for making the branches fruitful. Okay. Shoot, they closed the roll-up door. That's the only route to the front gate. I've got to figure out a way to open this. I think this is the control panel for the roll-up door. Open it. Is there anything in there? It's a mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. I think I need a hand crank. Well, let's just go in the classroom and look for one. Um, I don't like that. Please, nothing jump out at me. I'm drinking my tea and the last thing I want is to scald myself. Hand crank. What's this? Diamond Sutra? Why would someone put this on the wall? I'm not familiar with Buddhist teachings. Neither am I, but it is interesting. This is one dirty raincoat. That musty smell is horrifying. Maybe because they're, they've killed somebody. Maybe. A kerosene heater. We used it last winter, cuddling around it and having a good time. Nice. Okay. Ooh. I like that. I like that I can only just click on everything. It's just so effortless. Hold on. Before I actually go anywhere, I just want to see if there's anything down here. Can I go in here? They say Mr. Cow sometimes sleeps in the here. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's locked. I don't think anybody's in there. Public announcement. Due to our ongoing war with mainland China, instructor Bai is asking students to rat out anyone who may be pro-communist or show signs of treachery. There are big rewards for informants. informants. Jesus. Results of school literary competitions. They're only doing this to stimulate patriotism in us and to praise the great president. Okay, so there's a lot of politics in this game. I don't know if- okay, whoops. Um, like, I'm, I'm not somebody that's like huge into politics, but it doesn't bother me and if that bothers you, I'm sorry. It's just a game. Let's go! We gotta beat the typhoon! The shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Hold on. No, there's nothing there. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta do it! I don't even know your name, but we gotta do it! Huh? Who is she? What is she doing here? Is she dead? Hello? Hello? Miss? Uh, who's this girl? Is she sleeping? Hello? She's not responding. Maybe I should get on the stage. Yeah, maybe you should. She might be dead or something. Hello? Wake up! You shouldn't be here! Miss! Oh, um... Where am I? The auditorium. Oh, my name is Wei. You were sleeping on the stage. Huh? 
School is cancelled because a typhoon is coming. Typhoon? I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Weird. How did I... We should get going. It's getting dark in here. And the rain is starting to pour. Huh. Wait! My necklace is gone. What? Have you seen my necklace? I don't think so. How? I must have lost it somewhere. A typhoon is coming and you're worried about the necklace? I'm not leaving without it. Jesus Christ. You know, I could have easily not woken you up. But here I am. And here you are. Some odds and ends and... and some odds and ends and an old military jacket. Nothing special here. God, you know, we're gonna, we're probably gonna die. Where is it? How did I lose it? There's a typhoon coming and, and we're probably gonna die because I'm looking for your stupid necklace. A full length mirror makes me want to double check if my shirt's tucked in. Sure, okay. Exit, okay. Is it, can I check in here? No. Check somewhere in the auditorium? Oh my god, girl. Why would I fall asleep here? I don't know where your necklace is. Do you need help finding it? Um, would it be too much trouble? Well, we're certainly f we'll f certainly find it faster if we look together. Thank you, then. What kind of necklace are you looking for? A deer-shaped jade pendant tied to a red cord. Let's split up and search for it then. Thanks, that means a lot. Okay. D let me down the stairs. Would it be in here? Okay, more dark rooms. Do not like this. Oh, I see it. Something's in there, but I can't reach it. Eh, okay, um... Guess I gotta use something. This? Flagpoles and class signs. This stuff is used during our school assemblies. Oh, an umbrella. Yes, I'll take the umbrella. A broken umbrella. Wait, no. I forgot to click on the umbrella. There we go. Let's get it. I thought I was gonna knock it down into like a gap or something. Thank god. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's leave. Anything else here I can look at? No, okay. Hey lady, I found your necklace. Now can we leave? Yo. Yo. Why were you sleeping in the auditorium? Well, I don't know either. I'm still feeling a, a little dizzy. Let's find the necklace and go home. Okay. But I found it. Here you go. Is this the necklace? You found it! That's awesome, thank you! Where did you find it? In the storage room next to the stage. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why would it be in such a place? Well, forget it. You found it anyways. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. <laughs> I thought that was her still talking, so I gave him a girl's voice. Okay, let's go. I still don't even know her name. Wow, it's raining pretty hard already. It's too dangerous to stay here any longer. Let's go. I'm trying. But you're really slow. What's that? This rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. People say it fell from a small temple on the mountain. Interesting. I really like this gritty scenery. So cool. It's the security office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left for home. Here is the campus exit. 
Okay, let's go. Whoops. Um, what is that? What? The bridge collapsed? No freaking way! Uh... Oh god. Whoa! Why is the river red? This looks like... It kind of looks like blood. Blood? Don't say that! Sorry, I wasn't thinking. What happened? Okay, let's calm down and think about this. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Hmm. Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Ah! I think I know the cause of this. There are a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemical waste into the river under the cover of the typhoon. Are you sure? I've heard people talking about it. Perhaps you're right. The worst part is if we don't have a way to go downhill now, with the bridge gone. Oh, wait. The worst part is we don't have a way to go downhill now, with the bridge gone. Tons of people cross this bridge every day. This bridge should have been better maintained. Guess we have to head back to school. It won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. True. Don't worry. It's just a typhoon. The school has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. Alright. I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. Just trying to be optimistic. Let's get going then. It looks like she's missing a shoe even though I know it's just the shadow. <sighs> All wet and tired. What a day. Just rest up for now. We may have to spend the night here. Oh wait! I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Fang Rei Shin, a senior from Miss Yin's class. You can call me Rei. How about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior. Miss Fang, I'm Wei Chung Ting. You don't have to be formal with me. It's a bit awkward. Just Rei is fine. Normally we don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off studying. <laughs> it's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy you for graduating. Soon you won't have to see Guo Fong on a daily basis anymore. Instructor Bai? I don't even dare call him by his whole name. Rumor says he was a relentless killer during the war. I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We're all pretty terrified of him. We avoid him in any way possible. Ahem. Hey you, come here. Why are you hiding from me? Are you affiliated with the commies? Whoa, that was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. <laughs> Anyways, just hang on tight, buddy. It'll be your turn to graduate next year. <sighs> Life's a struggle. Hey, I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal office, see if I can contact anybody. Then I'll grab that heater in the storage room and a couple of blankets from Health Center. That should be enough for us to get through the night. That's a well thought out plan. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. You should rest up here, missus. The man's got it under control. Hold on there now. Don't take me as one of those spoiled pamper girls. I'm probably more capable than most you boys. Sorry, they came out the wrong way. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you were just trying to help. Okay, how about this? I'll go make the phone call, then we can find what we need together and carry them back. Alright, that sounds good. I'll wait for you right here. Just hurry back. It's getting real dark in here. I mean, I'll try to hurry back, but I don't know where the principal's office is. Was it here? Oh god, I don't like this. What is happening? What is this? Oh god, is this some Silent Hill bullshit where I'm in another world now? Excuse me? Wei, are you not, like, commenting on this at all? Anything? Anything at all? It's all dark! 
His footsteps echoed softly, invoking a trace of suspense in me. Reality faded away as time stood still. I swallowed hard as the emptiness confined me. Am I dead? <laughs> what? 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 Ah! Why? What happened? It looks like he's not breathing at all. Is... Is he dead? But how? He was fine just a moment ago. Oh my god. I just met you. Tell me this is only a bad dream. Okay, Ray. Take a deep breath. Oh my god. There's a notebook on the stage. It's Way's journal. What just happened? I saw him looking through it earlier. Perhaps there are clues to what happened? What the fuck? Fortune telling poem. A fortune telling poem from the temple. Turn the wheel with the laws of the universe to reveal the path ahead. Wait, what's going on here? What a nightmare. Wait, I gotta read this again. Is there anything else? No. 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 What happened to him? The fuck? It's too dark to see anything. Can I pick up a candle? It's too dark to see anything. Okay, I'll just go up on the stage. If I can. Or not. Why is he hanging upside down? How did I get here? Okay, I can take this candle. I should take the candle with me. This should light the way. Okay, that makes it a little better. Is there anything in here? Um, a dead mouse. No wonder it smells so bad in here. What's that? Book club. A note with a conversation. Hey, I heard a teacher started a club for the students and are reading some, prohi some prohibited books. Really? I thought that the book club was just a place for studying. Okay. Now I just want to get away from all this. The basket's filled with trash. Let me just throw myself in there. <laughs> oh god. This isn't ominous at all. Why is there a grave here? The engravings on the tombstone were all rubbed off. When was this built? A shrine? Worshipping a few deities. I don't recognize any of them other than the Earth God. Huh? What's that thing next to the incense burner? Oh. What? There's a note under the key. What's this? Facing the lingered. Oh god. Picked up at the shrine seems like a page from a children's book. Don't be scared when you see the lingered. Just hold your breath and quietly walk away. I don't like- I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh god, right click to hold your breath. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god!
door is locked. Oh my god. This should be the right key. Oh, please, no more of those things. Oh, fuck. This device should control the roll-up door. I'm not familiar with how this thing works. Okay. Might get hurt trying to operate it. Why is everything boarded up? This is all boarded up. Mr. Cow's room? What's on the door? It seems to have a bunch of talismans painted on it. Strange. It's not locked, but I can't open it. Oh god. Oh my god. A strange combination lock. I can't open it unless I know how to read these weird symbols. I don't know. I just don't want to come across another creepy, like, ghost creature again. Also, there's a phone ringing and I don't know where it's coming from. Huh. Who could be calling at a time like this? Perhaps I can get some help? And I thought Wei was gonna be, you know... Okay. I thought everything was gonna be okay. Wei said he was gonna try and get a hold of the townspeople. Maybe they're calling back? Hello? I'm a student from Greenwood High. Someone here was found dead. Please send help. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Fang. I am waiting for you in the counselor's office. What? Oh my god. What in the world is going on? Who was that? How did he know it was me? The counselor's office is on the third floor. What? Ah! What the fuck? You can't, you can't just do that. This is an altar for praying. Okay. You feel blessed. Uh, um. Okay, I've been recording for 28 minutes. I, I don't know if I want to leave it here or keep going. Let's see. This file cabinet, shouldn't it be locked up? A watch list? For what? The folder is empty. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here just for like suspense purposes. <laughs> I'm really liking this game so far. <laughs> Sorry for that weird scream earlier when it came to the, was it the linger or something? But um, yeah, I can't wait to play more of this and I really hope you guys enjoy this so far. Um, I know it's only the first episode but I hope you stick um, along with me while I play this nightmarish game <laughs> anyways guys if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you all in the next episode take it easy